Materialistically, yes. Uh, I don't think spiritually. We're privileged materially. There's no question about that. I'm very concerned about the couch potato generation. I mean, the general paradigm that people have is that things are gradually evolving, progressing, improving from a state of, you know, chaos to a state of perfection. But, I mean, things left to their own devices uh, achieve entropy. They go the other way, you know. We dump them down in front of the television, dump them down in front of the computer. They're watching pornography. They've got twisted minds. I think we are becoming very materialistic. And we've forgotten that this life is only a test for us. We're only here for us short time and what happens is actually decided in the next life. They don't know how to play, they don't know how to interact and it used to be, the symbol used to be females with anorexia but I think you've got to take on board there's never been such a rate of suicide amongst young males and you know I take a lot of convincing, materially affluent but spiritually absolutely dead and this is an unloved generation, I think the great disease of, of 2001 is loneliness. People who have everything that they need and more tend not to look to God or even give him thanks for what he's given them. In many ways we're very poor as a, as a generation and we've lost a tremendous amount. Me as a Westerner who's got enough food and uh, no problem with shelter, then I am very privileged. We're both the most privileged generation that has ever lived and also we stand in the most precarious position of any generation. We have enormous potential for power through our technology and terrific temptations to misuse that power. This is the compensation culture. One parent makes a, a charge for compensation. That, that group won't go next year. And the impact is actually on, on this current young generation whose social skills are all but nil and um, the amount of pornography and filth that's flying around means that relationships in future are going to be very poor. It is very difficult where we see many of our own youth leading a very un-Islamic life. And they have excuses, they have reasons for that because of the environment or the atmosphere that they live in. But I would personally lay the blame at least 80% of it on the parents. We are not nurturing our future generations in the right manner.